Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Um, y'all know I'm doing this uh, tempura batter. I did some tempura squash about a week or so ago, and people ask, can you do onion rings with it? Can you do meat with it? So I'm gonna show y'all what all this amazing product can do. I told y'all I've been using this for years. We should use this on the job. I recently retired from a couple of years ago. Golden dip tempura batter. All you do is add cold water. Of course, I already got some made here on the back. You just add cold water, go by the direction. It is the best tempura batter on the mix. Now, keep them on, make some, but golden dip is a second to none, really. That's my opinion. So, I'm going to make some tempura fried onion ring. I got some regular onions here. I cut in about an inch slice. And what we're going to do, I got some uh, oil heating up over here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to dip the onion ring right into the Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on them first here. I'm gonna season them up as much as I can. Kind of hard to season raw onions, but season them as much as I can here. Now, it's wiped up, and I got my oil heating up here, about 350 degrees. What we gonna what we gonna fry it on? So the oil is almost hot. So we'll be right back when the oil is 350. And we'll get to frying these onion rings. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. Let's get to frying here. I got my oil over here heating up. 350 degrees. As I'm uh, tripping over the tripod, a.k.a. Kenneth. Kenneth, no, actually, y'all know Kenneth. That's what Kenneth do. A.k.a. B.C.K. So I'm going to drain this off. Just throw them right in there, y'all. Right into the oil. Just like this. Nothing like tempura fried onion rings, right? Just a couple more in there, y'all. I don't want to overcrowd my, my wok. Kill it. Kind of the tongs here. I'll just flip them over there. Look at that. Easy as that, huh? How easy is that? And you don't want to put too many so they don't so they don't stick together. Look at that. Don't them look good? Put them back over here. Just like restaurant style. Just like restaurant style, right? I'm not going to even go to a commercial break, y'all. Not going to even go to a commercial break. Okay, make sure they extra crispy. That's what you want. You want them to be crispy. You don't want a soggy onion ring, right? And all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna take them off here. I know this one's ready. And put it on my rack. See my rack right here? Just put it right here on my wire rack. I tell y'all, I've been following me enough, do not put stuff on paper towels. It will make whatever you're frying soggy. Always put it on a rack. All right, now I'm going to step off, get the rest of them cooked off, and we're going to come back. We're going to try these old school tempura fried onion ring. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all got the last batch here. Give them one little flip. Flip over there. 
that one over there. We're going to take these bad boys out of here. Put them right here on the... Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. The right tool for the job, Chef Jeffrey. The right tool for the job here. Put them right here on the... On my... Sheet pan here. All right, y'all, see that? Now, I'll be right back here, y'all. We definitely got to try these out, and I got to show y'all, prove to y'all. You know, I got to be proof. People don't believe me. Got to prove to y'all how good they are. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at this here, y'all. Look at those. The light, they so light, they about to fly out of my hand, y'all. The bread in is so light and crispy. Like I say, this tempura batter is, is second to none. It really is. It's absolutely second to none. So y'all know what I eat on my onion rings. What do most people eat on their onion rings, huh? What I eat on my onion rings? Ketchup. I don't know what y'all eat on y'all's, but for me, it's ketchup. You can be fancy if you want to with some onion rings, but when it comes to onion rings, hmm. I ain't being fancy. Look at this. Look at that light, crispy on your Look at that. Look at that. We're going to cut into it here. I'm being fancy. I'm going to keep it classy. Listen to it. I'm going to cut into this one. Look at that. Not too much braiding. Perfectly uh, amount of braiding to onion ring going in here. Mm, 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 mm. When you bite into it, onion ring don't come out. You ever eat an onion ring? When you bite into it, onion ring come out. And you stuck with a hand of breading, not with these. Mm -mm. Not with these, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, y'all. Go in. Look at that bite. Mm, mm, mm. A good thing about these y'all, if I make a lot, I let them sit around, I put them in the air fryer, warm them back up for one minute, take the like to come out the oil. Go in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm! I'm gonna hurt myself up in here, y'all. I'm gonna eat six, seven. And if you see my Vegas video, I, I did a pepper meal with pepper meal. My oh, onion ring was horrible. I don't even see I see it in the in the video. Onion ring is absolutely horrible, y'all. I, I I forgot to even tell y'all at the end of the video what I thought of it. So these are awesome. Anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow me on social media account: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter TV, Pinterest. OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing, start doing. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed week. Love y'all. Bye.